Blinded by the Light is the inspirational story of a teenage boy from an ethnic minority who is finding life a struggle until he's introduced to the songs of Bruce Springsteen, which change his life forever. How often has an unhappy kid experienced a gotcha moment when she or he connects suddenly and unexpectedly with some form of art that seems exactly right, something that makes sense of a bewildering world and points you in a new, different direction? Well, that's what happens to Javed, Vivek Kaira, a 16-year-old Pakistani living in the British town of Luton in 1987 with his immigrant parents. For Javed, life in Luton is constrained by the open racism of his white schoolmates. It's also punishingly dull, though he attempts to escape boredom by writing poetry. But that displeases his traditional authoritarian father. Javed's experiences are factually based. His real name is Safraz Manzoor, and the film's screenplay, which was written by Manzoor in collaboration with Paul Maeda Burgess and the director Gurinder Chada, is based on Manzoor's book, Greetings from Berry Park, Race, Religion, Rock and Roll. No wonder, then, that the film feels authentic in its depiction, both of Javed's family, but also of the changes that took place after what seems to have been akin to a religious conversion. Chada, who was born in Nairobi, made the engaging Bend It Like Beckham back in 2002, in which Kira Knightley, in her first major role, played a character rather similar to that of Javed. Beckham was a big success, and Chada has been busy since, but until now she's been unable to find a project that totally engaged her. Happily, Blinded by the Light is a small triumph for all concerned. The film concludes with the obligatory photographs of Mansoor and his family, which act as a further reminder that teenage traumas can be overcome by a combination of determination and luck, and sometimes by the inspiration of a great artist. I'm giving Blinded by the Light four stars.